this is learning how to do corkscrew for hooping or hoop dancing, part two. The reason there's a part one and a part two is because corkscrew is two different tricks rolled up into one. The first part of the trick in my other video is learning how to go from your waist up into lasso with whether you were with your first hand or your second hand. The second part of the trick, which is in this video, is learning how to go from a lasso back down to the waist. This could be a little bit tricky, so for those of you who are having problems, learn how to do sustained spinning or walk in a circle, which is uh, sustained spinning in the hooping world. Sustained spinning means you plant one foot, you keep it there, and the other one keeps going in a circle. It's gonna slow down the move, it's gonna make it easier for you. So what you wanna do is every single time, you're, like, you're hooping up above. Every single time you see an opening like this, so it's gonna hit your hand like this. Every time you see an opening, you're gonna point and be like, oh look, there it is. So like this. You're gonna go, oh look. Oh, 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 look. This way, having your finger go through it is gonna teach you how to get your hand in there. Because sustained spinning is gonna help you bring it down. You're gonna wanna stick your hand out like this. And what you're gonna do is bring the hoop down. You're, you're just gonna be, essentially you're doing this. You're bringing it down. You're going from above, across your chest, like a seatbelt, and as it hits the, the side of you or the back of you, you're kind of just kind of let it sit there, kind of either get a, a slight push or kind of just guide it down. You're using your other hand. You don't have to use your other hand, but you're using your other hand as a guide. Eventually, you'll learn how to do it without your hand there. But for now, every time you see a circle, you're going to stick your hand up, stick your hand up, and when you're ready, you're going to walk in a circle and stick your hand up and do it all the way until you go all the way down like this. So, lasso. Oh, look, 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 look. You're kind of guiding the hoop. You can either push it, which can make the hoop wobbly, which I've found in the past, or you can kind of just guide it. So, again, that's look down. So what I'm doing is every single time it goes down, I'm just guiding it. So if you could see that, I'm guiding it. If you don't want to use your other hand, if you don't want to do the whole look, 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 look thing, then you can have it up and then keep your hand bent at your elbows and go like this. It looks very smooth. Or, and that's how you bring the hoop down. If you're bringing the hoop down with your second hand, then you're going to cross your body like this and have the hoop placed on your back. And you're guiding the hoop. The momentum of the hoop is gonna help your fingers guide the hoop. So the slower you do it, the harder the trick's gonna be. The faster you do it, the little easier it's gonna be. And it's gonna be a little bit more easy, or easier, if you sustain spin, if you walk in a circle. So if you're hooping with your second hand, you wanna bring it down, going across your body. Pavement's uneven. You're gonna to wanna to cross your body and then bring it in your back. So up to your back. And that's how you drop the hoop. 